Welcome to Freely Speaking Podcast with your host, Carlita Wells, where everything is spoken of from my heart to yours. When you were telling the story, some things didn't match up. So then people concocted their own story. So then it made some people say, well, I'm not going to do for her. I'm not going to help her because it don't look like what she was going through. But I was suffering with depression. See, you can't see depression on somebody. They smiling, right? They put the fake, you make, it's, it's called the mask. You put the mask on, right? You cover it up. You can't, you can't see anxiety because it only happens when, you know, most people that, that, that face anxiety, they do it uh, outside of the public eye, right? Because you don't want, you, you know, it's when you, 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 you go in the bathroom or you, you in the house or you sit in the car because you, you're afraid to go in or you just don't go around people because you know, this, you know how this going to make you feel, right? So... You know, I became not realized a master of covering up my depression and my anxiety. And I never forget when I was going through uh, a racial discrimination on my job. And it was my neighbor who was bringing me to work every day. And his um, girlfriend, she she was a, um, a principal. And I know he got some knowledge from her or whatever. But he said, Qualitha, it's like every Monday, oh my God, I didn't want to go to work. It was like the and, and uh, it w- it was like this pressure and of like this fear of like oh my god what am I gonna have to face today because you know the people and you know it it, it, it was, I worked in a school that was predominantly white teachers and and the principal was white but the principal was the one that was caught between you know I, I say between the two fences because. He's the one that gave me the classroom and he was uh, the one that was like showing this favoritism towards me that was causing a lot of this confusion. You know, his hand was the one in the cookie jar. And so, but his white peers of his kind was like, what? You know, they was the one causing all the problems. The the, the librarian, librarian. And, you know, some of the head teachers, the department heads, they was having a problem with this African-American woman. And, you know, they would say, oh, she's just, she's beautiful. And, and, and you know, she's got this favor and I don't understand it. And, but, you know, it was just, it was crazy, right? And the, the students love her and, you know, and she dressed nice and she always smelled good. And she had nice food she bring to work and all that. It's, it's something, you know, it was that jealousy, you know, because the students was, Miss Wells, Miss Wells, Miss Wells. But... I was having more frustration and problems with the adult students. You get my drill? And my neighbor said to me, he said, Clay said, what you facing it? It's called anxiety. I was like, so you know still me. I don't I don't really understand the depth of what he's saying. So he said, you know, you 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 facing anxiety. I'm going like, you know, okay, you know the fear of like not going to work. I didn't know that was actually a symptom, right? Like I'm talking about like a, you know, it could be an illness, right? I didn't know that's what he was talking about. Like depression is mental illness. You you, you understand what I'm saying? Depression is an illness, but it can go away. I did not know that's what he was talking about. I was like, he he was talking about the fear of of going to work, right? Of what I had to face. And I never forget, I told this lady, I met this lady in, um, when we met, like, See, we didn't see each other in Walmart, Walmart, but my son ended up picking up her son's phone. And when my son called, we had the phone so we could give it back to the owner. Um, and we met them in, um, what was that store? Uh, I want to say the store, you know, Goodwill. And she and I was talking and she was like, I face the same thing. And she said, Carly, what you're going through is anxiety. But still, I'm, I'm thinking they're talking about, you know, anxiety of like don't be anxious you know don't don't be fearful of it not like it's an illness right thanks for tuning in to freely speaking podcast with your host carlitha wells don't forget to subscribe by clicking that button so you can get the notification when i post new videos don't forget to like